I did, well, I need to pull this up anyway. Um, somebody tell us if we're live. Um, I don't know what that means. Does that mean that we're live? Okay. Uh, at last, I'm going to, I'm going to say it. Yeah, we are live. Here we go. Okay. Uh, uh, big Lang Time Studio, welcome to our patron Artifaxian and to the rest of you. Eh. <laughs> um, and yeah, hello, mm. hello mm. to everyone. What a delicious smoothie I um, have prepared for me lovingly by Jesse. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my, that is good. Oh my, that is good. All right. I am so happy you're enjoying it. Yeah, so, um... Today is Thursday. This is going to be our last stream in California before we head to first Missouri, then Washington, D.C. for KopiCon. Yeah, so, um, well, one, I, I don't know about how David's doing, sort of mentally speaking. I'm all over the place. Um, so welcome to two hours of yeah. a sort of frenetic I'm like, mental experience on my end. Um, I'm like that, that zombie song. She's not there. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but here we're going to, we're going to have a sneak preview of something. But, oh, well, I was, I was in the middle of saying something, but no, that's cool. Fine. You go ahead and say your thing. Well, I was just going to say, yes, as David said last, um, last live stream for for here until well two weeks from from now we'll be back on a normal california thursday um but yeah next week remember that if you're going to watch the live stream it will be on friday That's instead right. of thursday but it will be at our normal time same and so, time of day different day and so yeah it'll just be on friday instead of thursday for people at KopiCon, they're going to be able to join us live for the live stream so we'll have um hopefully some people with us there um, okay, so that that's one thing is remember next week is a Friday um, little switcheroo in honor of KopiCon. KopiCon is indeed on Saturday, but just FYI for everybody who doesn't know, in between now and next Friday, David and I are giving three different talks on the way to Washington, D.C. And so that's, yeah. that's why our brains are a little bit like, what? Um, we're in the middle of, of prepping a lot of different things, not just prepping for a, a large trip where we need to pack for two different locations and two different needs, but also bringing, you know, Copacon supplies and whatnot. So it is a big day for us and we leave tomorrow for that giant trip. And so, yeah, all that is to say, we're like, woo, but David has something to preview and yeah. I'm very excited. Also, a quick response to Arias. No, this is not the uh, last How Hop stream. Not even the next one is. Um, I tried to guess how many episodes we'd need for this season. I guessed 36. And we didn't fit 36 episodes in between the end of season four and Copicon. Furthermore, font work is progressing more slowly than I thought. Though I did figure out how to do the thing that I was working on at the end of the last stream last week. I'll show you in a minute. Um, but, uh, no, so this is not the last Halgoth stream. Next week is not the, la the last Halgoth stream. We're going to be working for a little bit. But, uh, as a special preview, I have, just for Jesse, so you can see her reaction, the opening of KopiCon. Just a second, I I'm congratulating Logan. Yeah. Uh, for interview with New York Times writer. So, yay! Okay, I'm ready. What am I going to be... All right. Wait, they're just looking at my expression? That's right. They can't see this. Not yet, anyway. Am I even on? I guess I am kind of on screen. September, September 23rd, you'll be able to, to see it either live or streamed. This and is the weirdest preview, by the way, yeah. that David's only showing me. Oh, that is nice. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm impressed. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then uh, this is sure, sure. as you prepared it, except... Or mm -hmm. the, that, yeah, 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 but I, yeah, 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 and then uh, uh -huh. now, oh, oh, David did a thing. <laughs> okay, yes. Yeah, so um, you'll see this um, whether you're there live or or joining by by stream. Um, David just did a thing to our 
uh, opening presentation or yeah. our welcoming um, yeah. thing, and I am very impressed. And you'll get to see it next Saturday. So we have two different stream links. Um, both of them have been shared in the Discord. Um, and I'd love to share them here, but of course, everybody here knows what kind of experience you have trying to put um, well, no, you know, we, we can add the... links, but the thing is, it's going to be our, our link time. So if you yeah. um, get updated about when we're live, it is through our link time account. We're going to be live streaming. That's true. That's true. So like we have, but we have two different live stream links. One is to watch it on YouTube. And yeah, if you go to, you know, langtimestudio.com, you'll see us live streaming from there. It's going to live stream to our account. Um, and we have a link for that ahead of time. Uh, and you'll be able to watch it. You can comment on it, but like, you know, only people on YouTube will see it. Um, and so, yeah, there, there's that. Uh, but then also we have a Zoom link. And so if you would like to be a part of the Zoom, where you can actually go in there, it'll probably do a Q&A thing so you can type in questions and, you know, do the raise hand reaction and, and things like that. We're not going to do a video and audio, but... Um, Anyway, uh, it's there. Uh, you can do the Zoom as well. Anyway, um, <laughs> thank you, McCain. You know what? That's that's what it's all about. Like and subscribe. Ding that little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what the hell is with the the, the, the bell? What is it, what even is that? You know when they say the bell on the YouTube thing, and they're like, press the bell, and I don't know what that is. I don't know, but. Um... Other, other note is that uh, we can't promise it, but David and I are going to attempt to keep up with what's happening on um, the YouTube comments. It will be on at least a 20 second delay yeah. uh, from what we're doing live. Uh, so that'll make it fun as always. Um, but David and I, one of us, um, back and forth we'll try throughout you know all the presentations to kind of keep up with comments so if there is a question um or a comment we can try to make sure that um that was a metaphor for well, new uploads but anyway i'm gonna about that. anyway yeah. uh we're gonna try to you know like pass along comments um if there's extra time for questions be able to pass those along uh, mm. to the speaker and and whatnot so so we are going to attempt to do that day of maybe too hectic to do constant monitoring, um, but we will definitely try. Yeah, I want to. I wanted to mention two other things uh, since since uh, we're here. Number one, um, I don't know if you've ever noticed when uh, Veronica Hamilton is commenting, but Veronica has admin powers for our channels. I, I if there's somebody who knows that they're going to be viewing uh, Copicon distantly. And like, you know, we know you, you're a regular and so on. If, if we can make you an admin too, like just in case, especially since we're not going to be able to like really keep track of things. If there's somebody in there who's like being a jerk, if you could just, you know, we can give you admin power so you can mute them or. So like one of my, my concerns was we have to leave it live streaming during lunch. Yeah. Which means we still have to monitor comments though, because our favorite friend may return with their advertisements for their their lovely site. Oh my God, I forgot about that. <laughs> and, and so we need to make sure we shut that down. They may be excited to get 10 hours of comment time. We need to, you know, stay on things like that. Mm -hmm. So anyway, that's... Yeah. Um, and it's like, it, it doesn't have to be one person. It could be a couple of people, you know, so that there's overlap. Anyways, that's one thing. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention, and this is good since, since Carl is here, um, we try to pack too much into one day. <laughs> so like, uh, I'm, I'm just warning you ahead of time. <laughs> <My taste>. uh, <laughs> nice. Um, there might not be time for questions for every talk. Yeah. And especially like the first four, which is going to be like um, me, Sally, Carl, and Sylvia. Um, we're going to be like super impacted, and so that's that kind of that kind of sucks. I I'm sorry. That was my bad. Um, but just like, you know, at least for you, for those of us, who, for those of you whom we know you'll be watching at some point, just bear that in mind and please accept my apologies. Same to speakers as well, because I know that questions are part of the fun. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to have discussions outside, you know, either online or in person 
of presentations, you know? Yeah. And um, so anyway, yeah, we're, we are really just taking notes for what to do for the next Kofi Khan. Mm-hmm. Mm. We already have ideas. <laughs> You're going to have to bear with me because this is happening. Oh, David's doing the slurping. Oh, you should get up and leave the room. Don't do that to them. I'm so sorry, everyone. I'm so sorry. Don't cur. Mm. Oh, my goodness. And here I mm. thought I thought that a mm. smoothie would be mm. a nice, quiet snack. Mm. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Jonathan was not pleased. Done. All Can right. you move the, the chrome over so that way the whole thing is visible on YouTube? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. But, mm. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, um, okay. So, um, need to explain some things. Um, <laughs> like, yeah, like all the people who care, which is like one person, sir. All right, so, um, <laughs> we need to explain some things regarding the poll. Oh, onion throwing could be a thing. That would kind of hurt, though. Yeah. I mean, well, it depends Unless on the, it depends on the onion. <laughs> what about oh, a green what onion. about green onions? A green onion would be fine. Throwing green onions on the stage, you know, somebody winds up really hard to throw it, and it does that kind of like parachute yeah. thing. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, you just tie an onion on your belt, which is the style at the time. All right, so um, we made a mistake, but then liked what we did, so we had to overwrite everything. So. Um, as you recall, we had the vote on all of our glyphs, you know, these things, and we had like, uh, we had them ranked, and um, some of these glyphs were already good, uh, uh, already had words associated with them. Um, and so, like, in the top 25 were three glyphs that began with a vowel. We were looking for um, glyphs that begin with consonants, uh, so we decided that you know, well, the top vote getter would be our empty glyph because we needed one, and the other two would just uh, be used for other things. And we actually ended up assigning them to consonants, uh, just not the ones that we intended. So the mouse glyph was assigned to scurry, and we came up with a word for that. And the um, the floppy ear glyph, and this one I was the least comfortable with. Uh, was assigned to LW. It begins with A and then LW's after it. Uh, and I, was, I wasn't I was super happy with that because I like it when the glyphs begin with the consonants it's supposed to be. Anyway, we forgot about that. And so when we were coming up with the vowels, we thought, well, what if there were different vowel characters for certain of them and we used the ones that were the top vote getters, which were cat, floppy ear, and mouse. And so then we kind of like came up with this system where cat was going to be the glyph uh, for uh, the empty glyph for E. Uh, mouse was going to be the empty glyph for U. And then with ah, since we have this alternation, regular kind of alternation between ah and schwa in this language, we were going to use schwa as the inherent character. And this is because schwa can never appear in a double vowel situation, so it's a good one for that. Otherwise, uh, like, if you were to make it the empty character and it could, you would never be able to tell the difference, for example, between, like, uh, a regular U and U schwa, right? Um, they could be either. But since schwa has the unique ability in this language of never occurring in a vowel vowel sequence, it was perfect. Either the vowel is going to just be schwa, in which case we use that empty character, or there's no vowel written, and so you infer that the vowel is schwa, all right? So um, what we decided to do, even though um, the uh, glyph for floppy ear starts with an ah, we'd say we use those for both of them. And then part of ah is going to become a diacritic, and so when we use it as just the vowel on its own, we just like double it. And so that was what this is intended to be, and I promise it'll look better. But it's like, it's the empty character with its own diacritic to say it's like, this is the real ah. And then the one without it is schwa. All right, so we got that far. 
we also jumped ahead and say, we we're saying like, and we're going to use diacritics for the vowels, um, and they're going to be based on these little pieces of characters, largely because this little tail was perfect, right? Um, and then this has a little piece right there, and it's like, you can imagine this getting shrunk down, uh, and so like that, that was just kind of perfect, right? Um, and then there's nothing for chwa, uh, but then that left us with a blank spot for O, okay? And so, uh, originally the poll was going to be what to do with vowel-vowel sequences, but we first had to decide what to do with vowels. So that was what this poll was about. It was kind of a last-minute thing, um, and after this we'll do, we'll figure out what to do with vowel-vowel sequences. All right, so, what to do with O. Okay, we had five different options, and I forgot to label them when I drew them out. <laughs> so I just added that afterwards. Um, but you can see them here, see, so did that type of thing. Oh, oh, right, and, um, the word, the, the O-glyph, sorry, in my head it's just, you know, by the way, I'm wearing my, you know, my tie-dye short shirt, you know, but the, the O-glyph, right, was based on... <laughs> Ball. Sorry, but like you just like dropped the tie dye shirt in, like they had been expecting it, and like they knew about your tie dye shirt. It's, and then on top of it, it's his Helsinki tie dye Helsinki shirt, tie dye shirt, yeah. which I don't think came across in what you just said. But anyway, yeah. that was that because just of the me theme out. of KopiCon. Anyway, so uh, our remember our word for mastiff was ojo, and it has a, an O in it. And so I was like, well, that's a good glyph to like give us some kind of onus. And this was the Mastiff head. I want to be sure that you see it nice and clearly. Oh. So we're going to wait and talk about the weather. It's a beautiful day in Southern California. Nice and sunshiny Gosh, blue skies. You're just now turning the notebook on video. And there we go. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. So you see that Mastiff head. That dog head. I thought it was pretty good. Jesse thought it was pretty good. Showed it to Meridian. And her literal response was, I'm not seeing it. <laughs> Just delightful. Anyway, so we used that um, to kind of make a, a, a glyph for the dog head, this mastiff head. And, um, and then we were going to use that in combinations to get us a glyph for O. So anyway, with that said, to the poll. This image, the first row is just what some characters look like modified by you. And yeah, the, these are going to take some work. This one will be easy, uh, but these ones where there's a crossover are going to take some work. So it's like, this is just you by itself. And this is, remember, it's the vowel comes beforehand. So you Q, even though it's coming afterwards, um, it's the vowel that comes before. U D and U R, because cloud is R. All right, then we came up with our five options for O. One of them was to combine the uh, diacritics for A and U to give us an O sound. It resulted in a little Y-like character. So that was row A. Very similar to U, it's just like now it's got an extra little yeah. on there. Then, uh, so that was without the O glyph. For B through E, we used this Mastiff head in one way or another. So one way was to make it subordinate to um, the U glyph. So it's like, it's ooh, but a little lower, all right? And so um, the first one is called the combined method. So we're going to have that uh, O glyph. It's going to attach where it can, but where it can't, it's going to be independent, like a little stick. So with Q, it, it just wasn't working to attach it, so it would be independent. Everywhere else, it would connect. C is the same as that, still with the U diacritic, except that it never connects. It just stands as a, as a thing before. Then we go to D and E. D and E have their own special glyph just for O, so there's no U in it at all. But the same thing. Either it attaches when it can, or it stands on its own. And if you'd like to see an example of how this can work in a language, um, I'm going to pull up, at least I hope that's typing stuff. Yeah. So you may have to... There we go. Uh, I, I may have to scoot over for just a scooch. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
so we're gonna put pull up Tamil real quick. Um, Tamil is interesting because you can zoom in on that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna go to the vowels. Where are the? It's so small. I can't even see. Oh, you're past them. They're there. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Um, so it was actually a little bit up was where we were looking the other night. You're right. It's the yeah. It's this one right here that yeah. we're looking at. Okay, we're gonna zoom in. Which? How do I go that way? Like you, like you're dragging the screen. So push that way. It's not working. Oh, probably because it's already over. It's just yeah. All right. So you have these vowels in, in Tamil, and right, this is a CV abugida, and so you can see that the vowels for the most part come afterwards, sometimes above, um, but for e. The symbol comes before, even though it's pronounced afterwards. And what's really interesting, I want you to compare E to O. All right? E and O have the same glyphs. So this is short E, long E. Uh, one has the single loop, one has the double loop. And short O and long O have the same thing, single loop and double loop. Uh, but after it is the glyph for long A because there's no glyph for short A, so it's essentially it's the vowel quality of A. So it's like they're saying this is like the A vowel, but back where the A ah is. Um, that's still small, even with all the zooming. Um, yeah. Oh, wait. Vowels come after. I thought vowels were first. Oh no, they were there. Okay. Do you want to exit out of that bottom? All right. Okay. So there we go. All right. Um, anyway, so uh, one of the things I really like. Uh, one of the things I really like about this system, but also like you see it with Hindi a little bit is that even though these things are CV form, they're not afraid to write the vowel beforehand. With Hindi, it's the short E vowel. Uh, it's written before the character instead of afterward, after it. But it's like, they're not afraid of that, you know? It's just like you look at the whole thing and like this is the syllable, right? I really, really like that. So anyway, back to this. Uh, Right, uh, this is technically VC, not CV, but you can see. You're probably going to need to pull that back. Over. Sometimes mm -hmm. the vowel is written before. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's written afterwards. Anyway, so those were the options we gave to our patrons, and um, I kind of forgot to look at the results, but I know what they are. <laughs> but um, but we can we can go ahead and go down and, and just visually inspect. It's pretty easy, right? You can see that for this one, we kind of had this um, bell curve vote, right? So like E and A were the least popular, B and D were the next popular, and C was next. I also like that you say E and A. Uh, yeah, and you can see that that bears in the consultant poll, and it bears in the conspirator poll. So C is definitely the winner. Preferred. Yeah, winner by a wide margin is C. So it doesn't connect, which... Thank goodness. Um, not that like it, it wouldn't look good connecting and like it, it would look great. It would just be so much more difficult and lead to so many more characters. So um, this, it, well, not more characters. Well, more shapes. It, yeah. More shapes, more on the, the font program side in yeah. terms of creating the orthography because anytime there is that ligature with the connection, you've got to completely modify, whereas with the disconnect, he just needs to have the two forms yep. and can like, you know, plonk this one before it, yep. and it's it's much easier. Yep, just copy and paste, decide how close it needs to be. So uh, that's what it's gonna be, and it's also gonna be, uh, they're still gonna have the U, um, like uh, diacritic after it. So we'll finish our U forms first, and then essentially copy them all for the O forms and just paste our little uh, initial diacritic. It's also not going to have its own independent character, which I really like. 
I, I really like that. Essentially, this Mastiff glyph survived only as this special diacritic that's just used in this form. I, I really like that. That's good. I really like that. Also, it was also Barry's uh, choice for his number one option. Mm -hmm. So, um, so you did you, you did the correct thing, patron. Um, <laughs> I'm also like, by the way, just to you, super impressed that you managed to get the amount of detail you did in these glyph shapes because David had divided the page in half and did not give himself very much physical space for yeah, drawing these. Yeah, that was a mistake. Um, and so that became difficult. And I didn't see it until it was complete and posted on Patreon because I went to sleep uh, when you were still working on the row A options um, at like, I don't yeah. know, two in the morning. And been, so I was like, I'm, I'm out. I've been going to sleep late and getting up early. It's a recipe for exactly what we have right here. But let's celebrate our patrons making let's a do good it. decision. Let and me then, out. No, I'll take care of that because I'm on no, the outside. No, I want to get out for my own reasons. So let me out. Oh my gosh. Just, just, just roll. Just roll. You don't have to get up. There we go. There we go. It's the there more complicated go. option. Well, it's the necessary option, unfortunately. Are we reaching that or leaving them till afterwards? Just leave them because you've already made enough noise for this stream for our viewers. Yeah, I'm making more noise. Just a second. I'm getting some Copico out to celebrate that we're doing the option that will be easier for David. And since he's not here, that means you have plenty of time to, um, you know, if you have your own supply of Copico. Get that out now. I really am having problems, by the way, at calling Copico Copico. I keep calling it Copicon because, you know, that's the thing we, we talk about a whole lot. Oh. So, Jonathan, what's funny, and I know this because I did a deep dive into old um, episodes with Copico experiences. Um, we have eaten Copico at all times of the stream, including like almost right off the bat at the beginning of streams. Um, we have really used them very uh, wildly differently depending on the stream. Other times it's like the last two minutes and we're like, oh wait, we need a Copico. Um, so yeah, it really depends. More consistently recently, it's usually about an hour and a half in, but listen, I need my little caffeine, caffeine, caffeine intake. <laughs> I need a little caffeine, and we're now calling it caffeine. Caffeine. All right. It's the the candy of champions. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Everybody, everybody, settle down. I'm here. Okay. Oh, Miles has a dinner party in a few. So. Ooh. B miles? B miles, yes. Cheers, partner. Cheers. He cheers me upside down. Oh no. That cheers. that can't be good luck. <laughs> oh man. All right. Silver tail, I I don't know. It was legit 1.30 today, and in case you don't know our time zone, that means it was half an hour before the stream. And I was in the middle of working on something, and I suddenly yelled to David we live stream today and he was like yeah i know and i was like i did not even remember it was a thursday i did not know what time it was i yeah copico looks just like i feel mm. I think these must be our old ones <laughs> you remember that one copico i had that was bad yeah oh my goodness that was awful. Yeah, it was all bummer. like kind of opened. Who knew Copico could go bad? All right. So Jesse, you have a very difficult task. No. Nope. So um, I'm gonna scroll down. Um, I cannot do difficult today. Very sorry. I could do dictionary entries. No, you got something difficult. I'm, I'm very sorry. Okay. Mm, I'll highlight these in red. 
and then um, all right so previously we said that floppy ear was going to be LW and then the mouse glyph was going to be cut these sounds now have no glyphs attached to them so your job is going to be to go down in order and see if we can rescue those two sounds assign them to two glyphs or you might decide eh, well let's just do a diacritic on some other glyph i don't know um and then i'm going to show you how we're going to solve this problem well quick question though yeah those are the only ones that started with a vowel, right? That we had assigned to a consonant? Yes. No others did. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, so you remember how I was having so much trouble with this? <laughs> Funny thing is, like, I think that looks pretty good, to be honest. But um, I, I was like, oh, it's just not coming out right. Well, this is what you do. You rotate this thing so that this is straight. Then you add a circle. You, you fix it while it's straight, then you tilt it back. That's what we're going to do. So, um, let's uh, get it going. Could also just um, do it with a straight one. <coughs> I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. I'm dying. Remember me when I was not dying. I'm so glad that this isn't like recorded or anything so that people can't go back, you know, years later and see this was what my life was. Just sitting Constant here, sneezing. sitting here quietly dying, just hoping, hoping that Bibleridian would say something and make my week a good week. I'm just so desperate. Now it's doing that thing. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> All right, we're going to rotate. We're going to rotate. Hold on a sec. I'm going to pull that over a little bit. Um. What is that, Logan? Not free transform rotate. Here we go. So we're going to try to make that mostly straight, and then we're going to make it real straight. Let's see, 1242, let's see how straight that is. 1244, we got close. Uh, but you know what we're actually going to do? We're going <laughs> to move that onto a line. I don't know why I didn't do that beforehand. I'm going to make that, put that at 1250. Now we're going to rotate it. I'm doing some research here. That I I can't yeah I can't wait to hear that Logan because I've been to in my life a couple of alien things and they fall into two categories one wildly ridiculous unsupported claims or two raging pessimism that is based on so many assumptions that it honestly gets you believe in the opposite thing. I attended the um, I attended a meeting of the Astronomical Society of the Pacific at Berkeley in 2002, I think it was, uh, not knowing what it was because it was a um, it was for extra credit for my astronomy class one of the most popular classes at Berkeley, Astronomy 7, which has always been famously dubbed Stars for Stoners. Um, it's supposed to be an easy class that you skate through. Anyway, I needed the extra credit because that's how bad at math I am. Uh, and so I went to a meeting of the Astronomy Society of the Pacific. And there was one presenter in particular who was like, I don't know why you guys get all up about, you know, there being aliens when obviously there's no such thing. And he's like, in order for aliens to exist, he's like, first thing, which is based on a huge assumption, 
then an assumption that's based on that assumption, then an assumption that's based on that assumption, then an assumption that's based on that assumption, which therefore proves that even if aliens existed, humans would never be able to contact them. And I'm like, there are so many holes in that that suddenly I'm now believing in aliens. Anyway. Um, yeah. Can you? Uh, oh, wait, that one didn't get there. Never mind. So now we're going to make a circle. And it's easy to make a circle. Right, but I didn't buy any of the things that he was saying had to line up. <laughs> you know, before I know I've already made some changes, but I should I should be working on a copy here. I think I have an idea. There. Yeah, I, I'll also say it goes without saying, like, anybody, like, claims and seriously believes they've been contacted by aliens, then done. I don't need to talk to that person anymore. Um, was this born out of the, the METI conference, M-E-T-I, Logan? Because I presented at that. Sherry Wills Jensen is a part of the group, um, and she will be at KopiCon. Okay, David. Uh huh. I think everyone can actually see it. I've I've made my choices. Okay. We're gonna resurrect Squirrel. Got it. And it's either gonna be a K or a Rural. We're also going to resurrect mushroom because mushroom is the inverse of bird, and that's one of our glyphs that made it in. Oh. And I think that provides a nice bit of um, symmetry, and it, it kind of, I think it goes really well with the system, and it was still really close to the top. Here, How would be problematic because it's representing something that we already have. Um, and mushroom. So, and um, squirrels. Yeah. Squirrel. All right. Um, so now I'm going to do a couple of polls. Um, so be ready. The first poll is going to be whether squirrel should be the k or the r um, sound. And so essentially what we're deciding is, you know, we're deciding the fate of both in one vote. But, you know, if you decide that, for instance, a squirrel word for squirrel should start with a K, then... Um, well, that's, that means that mushroom is going to start with the um, labialized L. And so once we figure out which sound goes to which glyph, then we shall... Um, I just lost my train of thought. Come up with words for both. That's where I was going with that. Okay. So you see what we're doing now? We're making a circle. We just need to figure out how big it needs to be. And this is where it gets difficult because we're not actually working on the baseline that we were when the character gets to the place where we want it to be. So we have to guess. 
I think that's about right. <clears throat> um, All right, here comes a poll your way. Mm -hmm. What the heck? Why would it do that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I can, I, I can do that. I gotta say, I think this vote is going in the correct direction. Um, so I imagine little squirrels, if you're close enough to hear them when they're talking, kind of have a kick noise. <laughs> kick, kick, kick. Their little little noise. Um, <laughs> And so, yeah, the top option, we just got that aspirated K, and then rah, for the other one, the L. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight needs to go down. Okay, so that needs to be at 450. Oh. All right, I'm going to end the poll. K is the winner for squirrels, so the mushroom will start with an L, W sound, which is very fitting, I think. And Ariaz, we don't want this to be derived. It needs to be a basic root. It needs to be so old that it's just a word on its own, a root on its own. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a good candidate for the writing system. All right. It's 800. The difference between 900 and 800 is 1, uh, and 100 is 800, so this is going to be an 800 square. Um, is that right? So what's 1250 minus 800? It's 450. And that does not look. Right. <clears throat> 1250 minus 800 is 450. 900 minus 100 is 800. 1250 minus 450 is 800. What am I missing? Why is this not right? Sorry, what, what was the math? Because I was, uh, my brain was somewhere. What's 900 minus 100? 800. What's 1250? 1250 minus 450. 800. So why is this wrong? Oh. These are on different squares than these. Because they're, the, they're not in the center. Sorry, what's the halfway point between 1250 and 450? 850. <laughs> that's, that's, what's, that's what's wrong. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Now that looks right, doesn't it? Not that funny. It is. Because it's so reflective of how we're doing today. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Whoa! Okay. You just did something that made me move that thing all the way over there. What did I do? It, the screen jumped away for a second. Did you, like, copy something? No! I legit just, like... Well, you controlled my cursor somehow. <laughs> Keep it. <laughs> okay. Okay. I got Bubba's suggestion for a word for squirrel. I would love to have more suggestions. If you don't give them to me, I will think of my own roots for better or worse uh, to put up to a vote. And <laughs> they need to start with an aspirated K. Remember that um, they all need to be <laughs> monosyllabic. And um, yeah, that's, that's what we need to remember. Oh, Tethys, you have you have missed a riot. <laughs> and
toughest. Just be ready for some for some fun here. I think this might need to be <laughs> ragdoll. Nice. Um, and all right, Arias. Got that. Thank you. Um, oh shoot, right. We don't have a proto I vowel um, in uh, the language. And so would you rather it be Kate? But we could do that. We cannot do Keat. But if you'd like to do Kate, I can put that down as a suggestion. Oh, same same comment to you, Jake. So both you and Arias had the same um, proto form. Um, would you would you rather the A or like a schwa? Okay, okay, yeah, we'll do Kate. Um, Jimmy Dog, we gotta shorten that. Um, and Ragdoll, we don't have those segments. We <laughs> that's a fun suggestion, but we cannot do that with our phonology in this language. Okay, so that is um, almost a proper squirrel, I mean a uh, circle, um, but not quite. The yeah. drummers are going at the high school. Yeah, they are. We'll put this at 500 just to make things a little bit easier. So as you can see, this looks like more of a donut than a squirrel. You know what I mean? Circle. Um, that is, it looks taller than it is round. So we're going to try to fix that. By having these go out. Wait a minute. No, I did do 60. Yeah. That's pretty good. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's pretty good. These guys are going to have to go out too, but not as much. I'm coming up with suggestions too. Look at 250 and then it bows, it gets bigger. I think we're going to need to go out. A lot of people saying like their chat keeps breaking. Let me see. Oh no. Okay. Um, all right, all right. So Tethys, I got yours. This is not a perfect circle. Um, all right, Jimmy Dog. Theory, like in Ooh, theory. That's kind of fun. All right, Jimmy Dog got yours. In theory, that's that's what you do, but like, not quite that much. Let's try to bring it back five. Oh, um, so Ragdoll, I was just saying that um, your suggestion was really fun, very cute. Um, you know, I wasn't sure if you wanted to actually use it, but it, it doesn't fit the phonology. But yeah, that was that was a, a fun thing to see. Kind of weird. Um, but that's circle enough, let's say, and we can... Okay, cool. All right, all right. All right, I've got plenty of suggestions. Um, okay. So many suggestions, we're going to have to have a vote from David first. Oh, 
but now things get weird. Forget how to do the upside down. Okay, there we go. Okay, okay. Um, well, you can't have KS. There's no vowel in there, first of all. We need a vowel. KS is not a, a good onset. Uh, we can't have the RL together as a coda. Um, so honestly, there's, there's not a lot you can do with it. You would have to completely change it. And I have enough suggestions, and I'm going to be asking David in a moment which ones he feels are more squirrely. Okay, there we go. Apply. Yeah, there we go. Good. All right, David, I've narrowed it down to three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I still have eight options. Um, right, Ragdoll, there is no I in the language. And again, we can't have that many consonants. You got to reduce it down to two consonants, one of which can be a K, has to be a K. And then the other one can be any consonant that you would like, but it can't be more than one. Magpie, there you go. Yeah, that would be be something. All right. All right, David. Yeah. I'm going to read some words to you. You can decide if they sound squirrely. Is your brain ready for that? Yeah. Could. No. Okay. Kate. How many? There's eight. There's eight? Um, no. No. Um, Koib. Sure. Kehu. Yeah, I'll take it. Kuvum. Yep. Kav. No. Kech. No. And then Kuh. Kuh. Yeah. All right, those are our four. All right, we got our four to run uh, the pole. Oops, I should apply these. All right, I'm creating the poll now. Getting this last one in, trying to make sure I'm getting all the diacritics in. I'm trying not to use copy and paste too much because that kind of messes up David's screen sometimes. Oh, I forget how to get the. There we go. The horseshoe. A little bit of heat over here. Oh wait, that's right. I'm on this computer. I can do this. Aha. Let's try to delete this. There we go. Yeah. All right. Whoops. I'm going to put the asterisks in and then we are.
are starting the poll. This will be our word for squirrel to take over the aspirated K sound. And so now we go back. <laughs> oh, magpie, that's hilarious. That's a lot better. So now all we have to do is just move it up so that it's up there. Right. Um. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's try like right there. So now we grab the whole thing. We move this dot to there. All right, so one minute. Um, the pronunciations going top to bottom. We have koi, kehu. Kuvim and Kuch. Um, and um, I don't think there's palatalization on that one. I can double check the document. Um, but no, I don't think there's palatalization on that one because the, they get separated into another syllable. Yeah, it's the because it's a labialized K, it doesn't. If it had been um, an aspirated K. By the way, look at how look at how good this looks. Just just appreciate that. Oh, that is nice. See? So that's why you rotate it so it's straight. Wait. When you rotate it back, these just need to be in line. Sorry. Also, it has to be a, a diphthong containing a front vowel. So it's gotta be a diphthong. It is not just the regular A, it is a diphthong with that vowel. So um, that's why there's no palatalization for that. Oh, Mateus, oh my goodness. I cannot wait to meet you in person. Um, have a good night and sleep well and yeah. you know stay well. And, and um, yeah, I can't wait to see you next week. Ooh, we got we got all our votes and Kehu is the winner. Oh my god. That's one hundred. Thought you were commenting on me. That should be negative one hundred. Embarrassing. Holy crap. Okay, hold on. This everything needs to go down like two hundred and fifty. So we're gonna do this the hard way. That angle is thirty two point eight. So we need to have it go down. Second. 28.2. Oh, 28.2. 29.2. 28.4. 28.3. I think I lost my cursor for a second, baby. 
Oh, and I copied and pasted, so don't copy and paste anything. Sure thing. All right, now. Okay. Now I think I'm done copying and pasting. Now you can you can go. In a moment, we're going to be talking protoforms from mushroom, but I got to get this in first. Ah. Gosh, I swear I remember how to type. That was carefully. And let me double check. There. Oh! Bib! Wait. The Western. Eastern? Are you near us right now? Did you come to California first? Yeah. Are we traveling together? There was a bit of a mix-up. Wait. Holy crap. What? Do they know who you are? Um... Yeah, where are you? Anyway, like... Uh, but also, uh, welcome. I, I guess with a look, horrible, you're in the wrong part. If you are if you need help, like, and you're in California, we can help you out for a little bit. We're leaving tomorrow. <laughs> it's a solid offer, but yes, he's not wrong. to make this so and we're going to unstrike through that and bum, ba, da, bum. we now have squirrel yes okay but now I'm gonna go back and see if Bibliridian comments <laughs> Veronica, yeah, you're not wrong. Um, okay, Bib, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get you covered. We got got a uh, Logan on the way to the East Coast. Okay, whew. I was seriously concerned because with the way air travel has been lately, it's like, well, we got you to the right country. We're gonna drop you off here. Yeah. Okay, and now that I am very happy to hear that Bibliridian is fine, and um, <laughs> where, where the intended destination was. Let's um, make this yellow. Um, we are now going to be deciding, why am I not live? my little browser take me live okay there we go we are now going to be deciding on um, oh when you get that all like space fixed Kern. I like to think of it as space fixing yeah I think I'm going to start that curve a little bit earlier. Um, we are now going to be figuring out the protoform for mushroom, That's which needs to start with a labialized L. So when you type in your responses or your suggestions, just put an L in. I'll take care of the labialization unless you know you know how to easily do that superscript. It gets kind of annoying. Um, so if you you know just start your protoform with L. Remember these need to be short. Do consonant vowel or consonant vowel consonant. You can have um, diphthongs if you would like, but they cannot have a schwa in the diphthong. And our proto vowels, we've um, only got 
the the a u o a and then the schwa a. Those are the only vowels you can have, and you can combine any vowel except the schwa in any which way you want. And if you suggest a consonant that's not in the proto inventory, I'll just kind of switch it out with the nearest one that I can find. Um, and yeah, so that's that's the limitations. But yeah, feel free to just type an L, and I'll I'll know that that's what you mean. All right, so ragdoll, I need to cut off the last ooh because we don't have any multisyllabic roots. So loom will be your suggestion. I do need to double check it. Um, there we go, baby. Make sure that we don't already have one of those. Um, wow, that's Tim. That's that's a form right there. Wow, wow, that's awesome. Right, so I've got loom, and I'm also putting in loom. Loom, loom, So you decided on squirrel and mushroom, mushroom. right? Mushroom, yes. So we're not doing leg or howl? No. Anybody want to change their mind now that they see this? <laughs> it's all right. Um, oh, wait. A, E, A, E, H. Okay, there we go. Lub. Oops, dog on it. There we go. Oh. Lub. And. Lum. We accept it, Sif. Yeah, I guess. All right, I've got plenty of suggestions, so I'm done taking suggestions. Um, Excellent. And now I just need to double check once I make sure I type these correctly. All right. This is going to be, huh, this is going to be interesting. Remember, you voted this in. Oh my goodness. 640, 1550, yeah? Tincture says... Bibleridian is an anagram of Lord Babini. And Ooh. now Bib says, use that if he ever becomes a dark lord. Wow. So this isn't going to quite work, huh? <laughs> Woo! Okay. Okay. You're, you're making it a challenge for me. Uh, by the way, I, I should show everybody what I'm doing. So, you didn't like legs, right? And you didn't like howl, but you did like sit. So, we're going to have to, um, we're going to have to perform some monkey business. This has to be before this line, which is six. I didn't see that sit was built on it. Um, I I didn't use leg. That was one of the forms I could have resuscitated, but I didn't use it because we didn't have howl, and I remembered those two were meant to be related. So I was like, ah, we'll just go to mushroom, which is a flip-floppy a bird. This is... Okay, that's where it has to be. But now we're going to have to fix this. Oh, boy. Um, Too and... much? going to do this. So let everyone know what I'm doing. I'm looking up proto forms right now that have been suggested um, that I've got, you know, in, in Lexergy. So I've got the forms. Um, and um, I'm just searching them in the document to make sure that we don't already have them. Because if we do, then obviously we need to come up with a new form. But no, we seem to be good. All right. Wow, even more, even more? So what is that? 
186.5. All right. All right. All right, David. Can't believe. Let's try that. The things you make me do. Oh, ye patrons. Um, I yes. Have, I have some forms to read to you, and you need to let me know if they feel mushroomy to you. Well, there's no way this will be confused for the other one. That's for dang sure. <laughs> oh. oh. That looks pretty. It's like yeah. the wrought iron... You just need the little thing on top to complete the wrought iron heart shape. Yeah, so this will be like the fat one and this will be the thin one. Um, I have to see, like 185.6, 200. Should this come down? Should this come down? 181. One, should this come down? Jake, you're absolutely right. I, okay. Yeah, all right, wow, okay, whatever, man. Like, this is, this is something. This is something. Can't believe what I'm witnessing. Um, all right, all right. Fair enough, let's see, what do we got? All right. So we've got... How many do we have? Eight. Voom. Eight? Yeah. Voom. For what? Mushroom. Mushroom. Voom. Okay. Wum. Uh-huh. Wedge. Yep. Wash. Wash. Mm -hmm. Wash, rather, not ah. Yeah, wash. My goodness. Wum. Mm-hmm. Wum. Mm-hmm. Wug. Mm-hmm. And wolf, which actually comes from wolf. Understood. Get rid of the last one. Mm -hmm. Get rid of both wadge and watch. <laughs> so this one. All right, just a second. I'm going to reply. So we're now looking at a reduced list. Vroom, wum, wub, wub, wum, wug. I feel like this one's an awful. Yep. Get rid of it. Okay. Got it. Got All our four. Right. Gonna be running. And David, I will need to copy and paste. You do whatever you need to do. I can't stop you. I know that. I just want to warn you. All right, but I need this. All right. Oh, wow. Sorry, everyone. I just put that as a comment, not a poll. Ignore that comment. <laughs> Ignore that, please. I am actually creating the poll now. This day is going great, babe. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. That's a that's a wonderful question, Jake. Wonderful indeed. <laughs> it is the reason we are all here today. Discuss the mysteries of, of life and mushroom hunting. <laughs> which I've actually done before. I'm not surprised. David is shocked to I'll its very core. A little bit more. Good. Something to contemplate, indeed. All right, here we go. Actual, <laughs> actual poll. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Um, all right, listen up. Top to bottom. Why, thank you, Tincture. Um, we've got Voom, Wum, Wub, and Wug. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
All right, now we let that go for, for a minute. Because I know this shirt, yeah, I keep thinking when I see just the shoulder that like something is very wrong with the light in this room hmm. or very wrong with my eyes. And, you know, kind of, kind of scared me a second. Yeah. Oh, hard decision for a lot of people. Oh my. By the way, with everybody's permission, I'm just going to make tooth down here. I'm going to just going to make that the flipped version of, um, of our ear. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I think see it why. makes sense. That, that is indeed. What? Well, it does sound like it a lot, yeah. All right, we are about to shut down the poll, so if you haven't voted yet, make sure you get it in. And I need to change some text color. And take out the strike box. We're about to get our form. All right, here we go. It was a contentious poll. Oh, gosh. Actually, it looks like it's about right. I think my YouTube. There you go. Just flip it. So I have now clicked end poll four times and it's not letting me. Does that mean it wants you to keep voting? Oh my, I am very far behind on the screen though from what you think you're doing. It didn't end? I'm trying. Can you end it on your screen? Mine is frozen. Your face hasn't moved for the last, like, 30 seconds. Yeah, I did end it. Thank you. Um, all right. So, wug. Oh, it, it, oh yeah. Wug. Yeah. That's nice. All right. That's that. I really need some way. To say that. Do you have a thicker marker over here anywhere that's handy? Um, well, I can grab... No, oh, wait, mind. wait, wait. No, go under the, the pink sunglasses, or not sunglasses, but pink glasses case. Here? Yeah. Okay. All right, we have a word for mushroom. Look at it. I don't, I don't really understand... I'm going to attempt, my, mine has completely frozen. I'm going to attempt to get back in because I would like to be able to see comments on my own screen, etc., etc. Okay. There we go. I think, okay. I think my, my YouTube is back to working. But it, yeah, momentarily just absolutely died. All right, so now... Give it the old double star treatment so we'll know for absolutely certain that it is done. This. All right, so um, as a side note, we had decided um, on a form for to scurry, which was when we decided the mouse glyph would represent to scurry. Um, we're going to keep the word to scurry. We're not getting rid of it. Absolutely. It's just that the, the aspirated K will now be represented by squirrel. And so, I am going to enter these new forms into the dictionary. All right. Are you ready for this? A little bit. 
I can't remind myself how to do this. You know? I'm going to do mountain. That one's going to be real quick because it's actually going to be partially reduplicated form of this one. So it should be easy. Did you um, what? let me know when you're done copying and pasting? I'm done. Okay. Um, I'm done for a second copying and pasting as well. I just, I did not want to accidentally get in your way. What do you think of that mountain, huh? Oh, except for that little notch. Yeah, yeah, I, I like know. it. It's, that one is easily fixed, so just bring it down. Make sure that we have the angle still right. It's 29.3. All right, so I added another K entry and adding squirrel on the English side. All right. Now we need to enter mushroom. Oh wow, that survived. What did? Puddle pond. Huh. The are, things that survived, am I right? Some of these are gonna be tough. Oh wait, we need to get a possum too. All right, I need to double check some um, protoforms to see if something different happens. This is going to mean mushroom. All right, I got to check our handy dandy mutation chart. It's going to be tough for me to do. I don't want this to is our first word that starts with a labialized L. Oh. Oh, Bibliridian has to go. Well, oh. say hi to your friends for me. I'm totally not jealous that I wasn't invited to hang out with your friends, but whatever. Especially since you're partying in L.A. It, well, we know. You say West Coast, you must be within an hour of us. Um, no other places there on the West Coast. Um, anyway, um, yes, Bib, so looking forward to meeting you next week. Woo! You know that in Britain, like, to them, if they're in Wichita, that counts as the West Coast to them. Hey, so quick question. Yeah. Um, I'm going to ignore your comment, by the way. So the base consonant, this is an L in protoform, but it's a V modern form. Yeah. So do I go by the V row, or should I go by the L row? But that's just L, not round L, labialized L. Oh, uh, why don't you plug it into Lexergy and see what happens? Gosh, you got to be all smart, don't you? I know the feeling, though. I mean... And what was the other one? I.
nothing happens. Yeah. I, I kind of I mean that's how it. the bees work and so that's what I had also thought might be it. Oh no, a regular bee would become a bee. This does not. Well then we got a um what row is that? V. Uh do all three of them with the LW see what happens. See if there's any other changes except Did you see all three of them already done? Okay, so va va va. All right. Okay. And this is the I, I'm on the old one because I don't have the link for the new one. Like we didn't make any changes, did we? Do you want to pop Om Yuag into the Luxergy pulled up on your Chrome to see if what? this is not the point two version, like Luxergy point two. This is just Luxergy. Oh. And do you want to just double check and make sure that that's correct? This is, by the way, my, once again, I am pleading with Graham, please move oh, it's Lexergy. Already, it's already open on this tab? Please move Lexergy back to its original URL. Like, and it's already open. I don't know what testing and here, you need to do. And here, I'm going to copy. Now just paste. No, it's still the same. Okay. I say I think the inputs are the same. Um, it's a user interface that's different. I just wanted to make sure. Okay, I'm gonna go back to this entry so I remember to complete it. Um, update our chart count. We've got another V word. Okay, so we used asterisk. We used dagger. What comes next after? Asterisk and dagger. Um, double dagger. Okay, how do we get double dagger? Double dagger on your keyboard. Well, that's not. Option shift seven. Thank you. All right, let me change this color. We'll um, make it some sort of Oh, bye, Silvertail. Stay grammar. May your bushy tail stay silver. Magpie says this is when people switch to using numbers. Ugh. When you could have an asterisk, a dagger, and a double dagger? Why? When a modern V res oops results from a proto you can't use that shortcut <laughs> I do like how insistent you were in trying though Doesn't go to V after home. Instead, it remains V. <laughs> nice. Yeah, eventually we'll get a whole tic tac toe board. All right. I am running low on water. I'm going to go grab a kombucha. They say, thirsty, rooch for a booch. Rooch? 
kombucha. And then I think while you're you're doing this, I'm going to do the exciting job of making more dictionary entries. Do you think you can handle it? The excitement? I barely think I can handle this orthography, which is starting to look more like Sarkage too than whatever we started as. <laughs> was, was that not what it was supposed to look like? Yes, so. Okay. Oh goodness gracious. Or do I feel like doing circles or something else? Hey, so fun fact mm -hmm. for everybody listening. Oh. Um, next week, one of the talks David and I are giving is going to be at my old high school. David's going to see my old high school for the first time. There's really no reason I shouldn't have seen it already, but... Not only see it, but you're going to get to go in and give a talk. Yeah. Well, with me. You're stuck giving a talk with me. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that's going to be, be exciting. And like, it's also cool because turns out the person who's the principal now was someone I went to school with. This isn't centered. Right? Or is it? What's 1242 minus 1054? Oh my god. 1242, 1054. I can't math today. 188. What's 1242 plus 188? 1430. Never mind, it is. Never you mind. <gasps> Jake, I would love that. Oh my God. It reminds me of the I Love Lucy commercial with Vitamita Vegemin and how she has to, it's like really awful tasting, but she has to pretend to enjoy it because, you know, she's trying to be the Vitamita Vegemin girl. I already had to do that with Canada Dry. But actually, Canada Dry is not too bad. It's not, uh, it doesn't have like the bite of other. Uh, ginger ales, which is just too much for me. This is essentially ginger ale. It's gingerade. Oh, God. Sponsor us, please. Synergy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, hey, look into sin. Reach for a booch. Synergy boocha. <laughs> no complaints here. Um... There we go. There we go. There actually may still be pictures of me at the school because they used to have these boards with all the alumni pictures. Mm -hmm. Like every senior class, you could like flip through them like a poster thing, at, you know, like at, at a store where you have those boards of posters. Wow. Um, what, just one for every graduating student? There must have been like, what, 60 class. pictures? class. You know what? The school's a lot bigger than that. Um, no, for every graduating class. And so it was like a, a huge thing of like every senior and you could flip through and look. And I don't know if they still have them because I mean, it had to add a whole lot more since I graduated. Oh no. Wow. You know what that means? One of these things is the wrong contour. Shoot. But which one is it? Oh, those are the same. Those are different. That's different. That's different. God. What does it mean to have the wrong contour? Like, I, I see what's happening, but like, what does that mean happened on the backside? Oh, sometimes it changes the contour when you flip stuff. And does that, oh, that one's the same. That one's the same. It's 50-50. That's even worse. So I have to choose half of them and... Is it easy to change the contour? Yeah. As long as you know? Just um, contour, reverse contour. There we go. 
Um, so now we have to remember which ones it was, not that one. So, and not that one. So it was this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Uh, can I do it out here? Actions? Um, Contour. I don't see a reverse. Contour direction. And then what about this one? Oh, okay, so let's see if that worked. Yeah, now they're all the same direction. Well, Logan, really David's goal is to be the anti-marketing campaign. So, uh, yeah. I think that the bros have a lot more common with uh okay hold on what's this what's this 36.1 38.2 yeah i'm gonna have to change them oh oh but i copied the wrong one didn't i i meant this one Okay. Now, dictionary entries. You know, one definition we have not yet done, to howl. Look at all these definitions we just absolutely have not done yet. I'm gonna see if I can make it through this top part of the list. And I'm gonna take a screenshot so I can more easily see as I make entries. 39.3, 36.1. Let's try to Oops, wrong shorten this up. Oh, Come on. How many did I just do? One, two, three, four, five. Oh my gosh. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. There's there, there's some hate going down in the chat for kombucha. Mm. Am I okay to copy and paste? Oh my god, I'm so furious! Ah, wow. Am I okay to copy and paste? You're... You will wait until I am ready. <laughs> there. Alright, this is what's gonna happen. That's, that's where it is. I'm gonna delete that. Make this stupid thing the same stupid angle. Like moving it up when I. Ah! Ting sure wants to know what that sound was that you made. It's epiglottal. All right, your turn. Go ahead. I could also get on your computer. But tell me when you're done. Done. All right, now these things are like that. That's where they need to be. We're going to take this over here, Ski. And like, we need to put this in the middle of these things and bring them down to there, basically. Uh, so this is at 343. We need to take this V down to 343. 
keep the stupid angles the same, even though we can't see them. I am so angry at Font Lab right now. Like, so angry. They have no idea. I need to email them because basically I am their most famous client and they must bend to my wishes. You need to be able to see the, 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 the stupid angle when you're moving these things, not like switching to some other thing like a goon. Ah! to be something like show angle while dragging. I'll search that in a second. I'm entering a to howl. Oh, Show node offset? Let's try that. Measure distance to guides and anchors. Like, oh, there's more down here. It doesn't, it doesn't have it. Let's see what this is like. Look at this. Oh, it has a little, that's, that's kind of cool. Well, that's cool, but why don't, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to do the math in my head? And they're like, whoa, you can figure out the angle. You've got the sides of the triangle. That's great. Ah! <sighs> Let's see what stupid angle this stupid is. It's 29.3. Um, this needs to be down at 343. Is that what I said? Um, I honestly don't remember, but Jonathan, yes. If only we could use that as a, a vocal reaction mm -hmm. in Discord, that would be great. Jake's ready to do recordings of that, though. That is indeed what this episode is. Okay. Okay. Need to go over, right? No, I need to go over the other way. Come on. Twenty-eight point two, twenty-eight point seven. Oh, it's twenty-nine point three. Okay. What is not coming up? The outside angle was 29.3, right? Yeah. Okay. Twenty-nine But of course, there's different points at which it would be 29.3, so I don't know which one's the right one. So if you, if you drag a node while pushing Alt, does that give you what you need? Like, drag something while pushing the Alt key. Let me try it. Um, so it gives you 
those guides, but not the angles. Um, I'm not sure which one the alt key is. It's the middle, the windows. No, I don't see it. Okay. It's not, they don't mention angle in the new guidebook. So anytime you're searching for like, remember when we had this from before for you to just even look at the angles? Yeah. I had to like guess which terms they're trying to use. Um, and it's not really helping. Secret, by the way, copy and paste. Because if you, if you copy and paste, you know it's going to be the same. There we go. Mail incoming. Thank you. We both look like, hmm. Oh, That's not for former us. Former occupant. Okay. Okay, this says, if the guides tool is active and you right click or control click, then drag and release, it now shows you a context menu and you may be, like this clearly has an angle there. You may be able to do something. So is the guides menu active first? Well, that's it. if you go over here, which is like... Right, now if you control click. Um, the, yeah, no, that's not... And control is the far left key. Oh, Yeah, but, that's... but that was the menu, so that was it. No, that's not useful. To measure the angle between two vectors, drag with the guides tool along the first vector without releasing the mouse button, hold alt, and then drag to define the second vector. It'll show the angle in degrees. Yeah, but like, like I can get that, like if I just do that, yeah, with the guides tool, you still have to switch tools. You can't do it with just the pointer tool, and so it's just useless. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll stop searching that uselessness then. Ah, okay. Well, I mean, honestly, for everyone discussing, you know, why even stick with it, oh. um, Duolingo. Yeah, if you're looking for just like a fun game to do and you want to learn vocab from another language, it's fun. Honestly, it's pretty fantastic and there's nothing else that's available that even comes close. Like you're if you're if your next best option is like, well, if you really want to learn it, just move to the country and you know, immerse yourself. It's like, yeah, just do that. <laughs> but like, no, in terms of free stuff that's available, there's still nothing that beats it. It's not necessarily the best, um, so it's not like people should stop developing things, but it's just like, you know. And it's also not like, you know, you shouldn't, if you're able to take a course or do another program this where you're stupid. exposed to the language in your nearby community, but, I mean, really, there would be no other, really no other way for us to, like, learn Finnish yeah. where we are. Um, this is too big. And now I can say, Haluan Uxipala Lamin Lepa. Lamin. Lamin Lepa. There you go. <laughs> now I can tell David that in Finnish. I would like that too. All right, we gotta, we're gonna have to bring this down. I was so close. You were. Um, we're going to have to bring this down. We're going to have to narrow the angle. Uh, uh, so let's see the angle we got right now. 24.4. We're going to try to to do like 20. Let's see what that is. A little more. A little more. 20.2. All right. 
20. All right, now we need to bring this other one into 20. While you're doing that, can I copy and paste an entry? You, you do it. Do it. How do we not have a symbol just for calculate? I'm going to have to check these forms. There we go. And of course, we are now we're going to need to make it thicker. We can do that by moving the whole thing over, but we need a, it's 1155. That's 1155. Now we can grab these and drag them. It's probably a little bit too thick. All right, I need to check what happens to a regular D in our chart, because right now that's, all of our entries right. are different. Yeah, that's about right. Okay, now we're going to copy this. Oh, oh. Now we're going to do something terrible. Yeah, we're going to do that. Um, what is that? 3391. All right. There is our spike. Oh, it's actually below zero. So we're, we're, mm, should we drop it down? Yeah, let's, yeah, let's do it. We don't care so much about the angles. So we're going to drop it down 50. Three, two, three, nine. Perfect. That's what that's going to be. And we're going to drop a note in there because we don't care where it is. We're going to delete that and right. say that's that. I am copying and pasting an entry. Okay. Done. All right, now. What's this at? 1550. We're going to make it even steeper. We're going to just go like that. It's not going to be exactly uniform, but it's going to be close enough. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to copy this. Hmm. Copy. Delete that. Paste. Flip. And let's see what that is at. Twenty-eight seventy-nine. Remove overlap. And we're going to uh, set side variance to zero. It's OK, but it's not great. We're going to bring these in, see what we can do to make the angle the same, see if we have to make any other adjustments. 20. Oh, I just realized what time it was. Um. 19.1, good lord. Oh. 
did you know that, so Jake had mentioned wanting to visit Tampere. Mm -hmm. It is the most populous inland city in the Nordic countries. Huh. Inland being a key word. In one. Uh oh. In one hundred. Well, it looks beautiful, Jake. I had never um, heard of that, but yeah, that looks very nice. Although I gotta say, like. Finland is just amazing. Mm -hmm. So twenty three point nice. nineteen point six. And now we need to bring these end this end to nineteen point six. One, two. Mm -hmm. I finished three, three of four. our entries from the top. Shoot. What? Uh, okay, the, this is what we need to do. Oh, crap! Everything's just... Ah. So yeah, I'm celebrating that I finished three entries. Woo! Great. David is... Melting down, I think. Hold on. Maybe. Not that. This. I'm a little worried he's not going to be in one piece at the end of all of this. <laughs> Read Magpie's comment, David. David's not as amused. Sorry, I thought that was funny, Magpie. It's very funny. Very, very funny. <sighs> Taking everything back. How wide is this thing? 2332. It's just too oh. too wide. How big was the mountain one? It's like 2100. Okay. I mean it does it does kind of it does kind of look like that. I, I just really wanted I wanted to bring it in just slightly. There's nothing and it's not quite working out, right? No, because the thing is, if you just bring, if you bring this in, right, then, mm -hmm. then you don't have uniform. Gotcha. Yeah, it's not terrible. I'm actually just going to do that and s stew in the imperfection. <sighs> it's just... What that means to me is that you're... You'll stew, but you're going to figure it out. Because um, I feel like that happens. Your brain's going to work on it, and it's going to be figured out. It's, it's fine. Okay. It's fine. Well, yep. listen all. We need to get ready to go. I, I, I know that everybody just can't wait to see this live. Um, maybe, maybe you'll be a little bit, um, friendlier when it's live. No, 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 I'll think about it. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, everyone. Um, yes. Yeah, see you in person very soon to all who are going to be there. Look at Arias's comment. <laughs> I love it.
<laughs> David does not. That's one, of, does. that's one of the best things I've ever seen, and you kind of need to see it in person. You, oh, or you need to see it for yourself, and you need to have a enough of an understanding of linguistics to understand it. That's just that's, that's one of the best things I'm I've ever seen. Well done, Arya. Amazing. Okay. All right. So yes. Thank you all for being here. Stay grammar. Next week we'll we'll be live streaming on Friday for those um, who are doing it from a distance. If you're there in person, also on Friday. But we'll see you there. And uh, thank you all. And until then, bye. Bye everybody. <laughs> see you then. Oh, oh.